Okay, today I'm grooming Leo and I'm using the Pride and Groom uh, products. And the two products that I'm gonna use on him, this is called the Sensitive One. And this is their shampoo that for dogs that have, you know, sensitive skin issues. Um, any dog that may be sensitive to normal shampoos, this is a good shampoo for them. Also for puppies. And um, I'm gonna dilute this uh, 16 to one. So if you have a diluting bottle, that's ideal. So you look at the diluting bottle and there'll be lines here. And so you fill, some diluting bottles, you fill the water and then add the product. But this one, you add the product and then um, add the water. So it is, it calls to add the shampoo 16 to one. So this, this particular bottle doesn't have 16 to one. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna estimate Oh, there it is right there, 16 to one right here. So follow that line down and I'm gonna fill, I'm going to fill the uh, product up to there and then ask, add the rest to water, okay? And what I like about their products is they have these really nice tops, okay? And when you look at it, it's actually quite liquidy, but it dilutes really nicely, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and open this. All their products are sealed for quality control and preventing leakage during the shipping. So these bottles are curved purposefully and have this easy nozzle at the top. For people that are, you know, grooming with one hand and trying to hold the dog with the other, this really is ideal. So again, I'm going to fill it and I'm going to dilute the shampoo 16 to one. So I'm just going to fill the bottle with the shampoo 16 to one. Doesn't have to be exact, but approximate. Some people like to use the shampoo full strength um, but I like to dilute it. So then I'm gonna add warm water to this. Make sure your water is warm. And then we're gonna be using the conditioner today, which is the final coat conditioner, and that is diluted 20 to one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready before I start the bath so that it's ready to go. Now this conditioner works fabulous for um, during the bath, but you can also use this to get mats out when you're blow drying. And when I use this to get mats out, I actually use it full strength. I do not dilute it, so you're putting the product on full strength. So I'll use really warm water for part of it and kind of shake it up and then I'll add some tepid water. You don't want it to be too hot on their skin. So now my conditioner is gone, uh, ready to go. It's all mixed, okay? So I got that ready. Now I'm gonna add water to the shampoo. Fill it up to the fill line. Okay. So I'm gonna wet the dog down thoroughly. Now typically I like to um, leave the face soap because they get like eye boogers and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the shampoo on the face first so that it can soak. Soak the little eye boogers off and so on and so forth. Be careful not to get it in the eyes. What's nice about using this diluting bottle is it's got a nice little thing on the top that you can control where it's going. 
because obviously you don't want to get the soap in the eyes. However, this is gentle. It's a very gentle shampoo. So just rinse it with some water if you get some in the in the eyes, okay? Has a very nice smell to it. And I'll leave this conditioner on for like a minute just to let the ingredients do the work. Their products have a lot of great ingredients that are going to be good and healthy for the skin. If your dog is very dirty, then you would shampoo twice, but he is not very dirty. I just groomed him about a week, week and a half ago. Make sure you clean between their paw pads. This is when you do the anal glands. I'm not gonna do his anal glands right now. I've done it previously. Now, depending on the size of the dog, the, the 32 ounces should be enough diluted. Um, if you have a very large dog, then you would want to, or a large puppy, you'd wanna have maybe two of these ready to go. seems to like it. Good boy. Now what I use is a flea comb to get the little eye boogers out. It works really well. See? Gets it out very easily. And if you put the shampoo on first, it literally um, softens it up. So then you're not pulling in the... Imagine if someone was pulling hair in the corner of your eye. If you've ever had to pluck an eyelash out of the corner of your eye. It's, it's painful. So you wanna make sure that you soften those eye boogers to get, to get them off and not cause the dog a lot of pain because then they'll be scared of ba bathing time. Well, we don't want that. So we got all those little eye boogers out now. Okay, so I'm just about to rinse them. One thing you wanna do is make sure not to get stuff in the ears, but also put some soap right underneath where the ear lays because they get earwax like us. So you need to make sure that you clean that out. If you're cleaning the ears, I like the Life's Abundance Ear Cleaner. I'll add it in the comment below. It's a holistic ear cleaner. I don't have it with me right now, but that's normally what I use to clean the ears. And then it helps to dry out the ear canal and get that waxy buildup out, okay? So now I'm gonna rinse his coat. And I'm going to add that wonderful final coat. And I'm going to let it sit on his coat for like a minute or so. And then rinse him out. The leash that I'm using is a tub leash that I made. Keeps him safe, keeps him from jumping out of the sink, and also keeps him makes him feel more confident while I'm grooming him. All the items will be linked below. Make sure you check the rear end for any kind of uh, hoop caught in their hair back there. get all the soap out. Now he doesn't typically mat, but if you had a Maltese or a Yorkie or something like that, you want to make sure you rinse thoroughly because it will actually make the dog mat more. Okay, now I've got the conditioner ready to go. As you can see, it really mixed well. I didn't even have to whip it with like a mixer or anything. It really is a terrific, terrific product. Uh, so I'm gonna put this on and leave it on for like a minute. Oh, it smells so good. Now Poodle Terrier Mix is gonna have a different type of coat than a, a drop-coated breed, like a Yorkie, Shih Tzu, 
um, Maltese. But this is a universal conditioner that they've created. So you can use it on any of the breeds. Like I said, the sensitive one um, works well for dogs that have a lot of itchiness, dry skin, flaking, um, and also for puppies. So it actually soothes the skin. It's got ingredients to soothe. Okay, and I'm just kind of working it in because he, he likes that. I'm going to rinse it out. This coat feels wonderful. So you just want to rinse until it runs clear. His coat feels so well conditioned. Okay, so now I'm gonna towel dry him and go ahead and blow dry him. And when I blow dry him, I'm not gonna use any kind of a spray and I'm gonna see how it does. So we'll see you on the grooming table.